Hi, this is Nana of Double O Physique Creation and this video is actually a request from one of my subscribers who asked me to repeat the question again uh, Do I count macros? And if I do, what macro ratio split would I suggest for losing body fat or to do a lean bulk, so to build muscle? So this actually is a really good question uh, and I'll answer the first part first because that's the easier one to answer. So, uh, me personally, I actually don't uh, count or track macros and if you watch to the end of the video, you'll see how and why I am able to do this. But before I go on, if you guys need a refresher on macros, being protein, fast and carbs, then click on the playlist above here, which has the uh, videos and more videos to give uh, a refresher on why we need them specifically and also the best sources of which to use. So one thing that we do need to remember uh, about this all is that calories are actually more important than uh, a macro ratio split. And the reason for this is to lose body fat we need to be in what is called a calorie deficit. So this pretty much means that we need to be burning more calories than we consume on a daily or weekly basis. Whereas to actually put on muscle mass, we actually need calories. And so this is why most people that try to do this will use what's called a calorie surplus. So this is where we're consuming more calories uh, than we burn on a daily or weekly basis. So, looking at the names of those terms, calorie deficit, calorie surplus, we use those terms, we don't say a calorie macro, macro ratio deficit or a calorie macro ratio surplus, and it's because it's the calorie intake that actually is more important in terms of getting that end result. So the macros come from knowing what our calorie levels are, so that is why calories are more important. So let me give this a uh, sort of example here. So let's say uh, we were using a 40-40-20 split, so 4% protein, 40% carbs, and 20% fats. If we are aiming for fat loss and we're not really getting fat loss, the reason is probably less likely to be the split that we're, that we're using but it's more likely to be the fact that we're actually eating more calories than we need. So we're not in the calorie deficit to actually burn body fat. And the same goes for if we're trying to put on muscle and we're using the same split, the 40-40-20 uh, split. If we're not putting on the muscle, the reason mostly for that is probably more likely going to be that we're not eating enough calories to put on the muscle rather than the actual percentage split that we're using. So this is why our calorie levels are actually more important than the macro ratio split that we're using. So the question that you're probably now asking is how then do I know what calories I'll need to actually get the results that I'm looking for? And this right here is the million dollar question. And it's not one that I can answer for each and each and every single one of you on this video. And the reason for that is that we all have different goals, we all have different weights, we all got different heights, we all have different exercise demands because we all train a different amount per week. So all these things need to be factored into what our calorie levels should be. And this is why if it's uh, something that you guys want to have a bit more of an actual discussion on, then I've got my sort of like social media links, which I'll put at the end of this video and they're on my description box. And it's definitely something that we can have a chat about to sort of help you guys understand what it is that you'll need to do on an individual basis. But it really comes down to once we know what our calorie level should be, then it makes the rest of this process of trying to lose body fat or to build muscle a hell of a lot easier. So why is it that I am able to uh, not track or count my macro uh, or even calorie intake? The key really to this is the fact that I've been doing it for so long that I actually know what a day of eating looks like for me, be it if I want to build muscle or to lose body fat. And it's once you actually understand what a day of eating looks like for you, then you don't need to have things tracked 100% 
And the reason for this is we need to understand that calories and macros, they are just estimates. They're just ballpark figures so that we do not overconsume or underconsume the nutrients that we need to actually get the results that we want. So this is why it really comes down to understanding how much we need of things. And when you understand how much you need of things, you realize you do not need to be 100% dead on because as I said before, they are ballpark figures to give you guidance so that you make sure that you're in the right ranges so you can get the results that you're looking for. So hopefully you have found this video on uh, macro split ratios and calories useful. If you have any questions then write those down in the comment section below and if you have any sort of other topics uh, that you'd like me to cover then write those down in the comment section below and I'll look over those and see if there's something that I can make into videos as well. If you guys have uh, any sort of like burning questions that you want to directly ask me then uh, you can reach me on any of my social media links which I'll put on the screen here and also uh, they're in my description box below as well. Uh, like and share this video so more people can benefit from this knowledge and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. So I'll see you guys on the next one.